guys uh, in this module welcome back uh, to iitc this is vet prakash singh from iitc in this program we are going to see the strongest element of psm number 2 you might have gone through all other elements element number 1 to 14 from iitc channel this is element number 2 and we are going to discuss following things things in this program but not limited to we will see what is process safety information why process safety information is essential in the psm implementation we will see different examples of psi so guys i hope you will enjoy this session my hum- gentlemen and ladies my request my humble request please subscribe and press the bell icon and please also send this link to your friends professional friends your company group and whatsapp group so guys now basic thing we need to understand the difference between between occupational safety and process safety let us start with uh, occupational safety as you guys knows that occupational safety focuses mainly on preventing the personal injuries personal injuries here means leg injury finger injury hand injury face injury eye injury and any body part injuries and uh, this occupational safety can be measured as per the osha standard in lti loss time injuries or loss time accidents fr means frequency rate sr means severity rate fsi means frequency severity index etc normally i mean as you know that occupational safety or occupational accidents are high in probability they are always uh, in high numbers that means failure frequency accident frequencies are more but severity is compared to the process safety is low i don't say that uh, it is uh, a low in terms of let's say there 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 are fatalities in terms of uh, uh, any work, person working at height if he falls from the height he may die unfortunately so in that perspective i'm not saying but yes in general the severity of this occupational safety or occupational related accidents are low let us go ahead for process safety guys as you know that the definition of process safety as per the name it is a safety of process means process safety primarily it means of lopc loss of primary containment so it is a process safety is a systematic approach to prevent potential release or lopc or uh, a low loss of primary containment this looks entire processes beginning from the material equipment systems and product it is measured in a different aspect like uh, alarm rate corrosion rate flow rate leak rate in this terms it can be measured so if you see in terms of probability this process safety events are very less in terms of uh, probability but the severity is, is very high when i am saying severity is very high that means it can kill many people at one point of time because this is process safety related event anybody and everybody who is in the contour of high fire high radiation high exposure zone he will be affected and he may be killed so that is why the severity is very high severity severity in terms of fatality severity in terms of production loss severity in terms of reputation loss severity in terms of financial loss so guys let's go ahead i hope by now you understand the basic concept of occupational safety and process safety in this slide probably you will have clearer information related to process safety versus occupational safety if you see this graph this is y axis this is x axis here in this y axis you have got mah major accident hazard hope you are able to see my cursor and the down below is a slip trip and falls so this is the accident category and in y in x axis this is the likelihood or frequency in the beginning this is unlikely or very unlikely and there is a high possibility or high possibility if you go and see and refer this uh, slanting line which is light blue 
here it is a personal safety means occupational safety if you go down below here so that means it shows that it is a high probability high in numbers the same time if you see the corresponding x axis this is the sleep trip injuries and this kind of injuries so that means this graph shows that personal safety or occupational safety the possibility is very high whereas the severity is low in compared to the process safety now we are talking about the process safety if you see here the process safety here uh, the it is very unlikely in terms of the frequency in terms of the i mean uh, likelihood but the severity is mah major accident hazard when we say major accident hazard that means it this event can kill many people at one point of time it has huge impact on production loss it has huge impact on um, facility damage it has huge impact on financial loss so guys this slide is very good slide to understand the definition as well as the difference between process safety versus occupational safety guys i know that you are going through this video you may be having any question or any suggestion i would encourage you to please participate in the comment section so that we can come back to you with your queries as asap basis so guys process safety again you are here saying that process safety involves the prevention of leak equipment malfunction and over pressure corrosion metal and fatigue this deals with process characteristics of pressure temperature flow um level and all these things so the essential elements are we must know the processes both physically as well as technically to understand complete process safety so this is what is process safety management we will go through line by line one by one each element so that you have got very good information regarding process safety management as well as all the elements of process safety this will see the analyze the process hazard this is a pha pha is one of the element of process safety i have created one small video small presentation only for you please search on iitc pha you will find it that you get very good information regarding pha process hazard analysis now we have to also deal with the maintenance because maintenance is reliability availability and maintainability manage and communicate over the life processes we have to see complete life cycle of process safety in this uh, management system so guys as we mentioned that, so guys now we are going to focus on uh, element number 2 process safety information in this we will see the hazards of processes hazard of processes are very important and this is one of the important information for implementing the successful process safety management system this is what is psi process safety information we must know or company must have system for all msds preservation and msds should be displayed to all vital points of the processes each and every employee must know what are the hazards of different chemicals from the msds because msds means material safety data sheet has got physical property chemical property and uh, uh, risk and hazards and control measures preventive measures damage control emergency response second hazardous effect of inadvertent mixing of handling or process or temperature so guys in process in chemical there are the chemical reactions there is inadvertent mixing so there are some hazards of inadvertent mixing because some chemicals are exothermic reaction some uh, some chemicals are endothermic in uh, in nature so it can create uh, issues so that is why we must know or everybody in this organization or everybody who is dealing with that process must know what are the process safety information of inadvertent mixing of different chemicals we must know the i mean pressure flow temperature level maintenance operation and what are the hazards what are the i mean uh, design intent of all these parameters so every process has got their definite i mean uh, design intent and uh, if the design intent is not fulfilled and if it goes beyond the envelope of for design intent what can go wrong 
सो वी मस्ट नो एवरीबॉडी मस्ट नो और एवरीबॉडी मस्ट नो हु आर डीलिंग विद दिस केमिकल्स रिगार्डिंग ऑल दिस डिटेल सो गाइस वी आल्सो शुड नो द इक्विपमेंट इन प्रोसेसेस लाइक एवरीबॉडी ऑफ द प्रोसेस एरिया ऑफ द ऑपरेशन एरिया ऑफ द मेंटेनेंस एरिया शुड बी फेमिलियर विद प्रोसेस एंड इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन डायग्राम व्हिच इज नोन एज पी एंड आईडी समटाइम्स इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज पीआईडी because in pnid we know all the equipments we know the flow of the processes we know all the i mean process parameters we know all shape controls so everybody must be familiar while dealing with this kind of processes electrical classification as you know that electrical classification means nothing but only it is a hazardous area classification zone 0 zone 1 zone 2 and different classes and according to different classes all electrical equipment must be identified must be placed must be maintained must be monitored because this hazardous area classification equipments can create source of ignition and that can create possible fire and possible explosion equipment must be having the relief systems may be psv process safety valve pvsv pressure vacuum safety valve rd ruptured disc explosion chamber or other means of relief of pressure ventilation system must be designed to ensure that all the chemicals which is i mean uh, in access as per the acgih or as per the tlb as per the twa and that has to have perfect efficient ventilation management system so that people who are working in the area are not affected by those chemical property moc material of construction as we mentioned uh, earlier probably this is the strongest pillar of uh, psm and we have a dedicated program for material of construction so guys i would encourage you to please search moc or man management uh, material of construction uh, i mean uh, uh, module in our iitc channel and you will find out uh, uh, what is the benefit of uh, material of construction this is not moc there is not management of change but this is the material of construction of the equipment material and energy balance so we must know how much materials are being used and we must know how much products are there we must know what is the wastage we must know which chemical are i mean toxic and hazardous chemical we must know which are hazardous waste safety system and shutdown system we must know how to shut down the system safely and we must know how to start the system safely and we must know uh, what are the different elements or interlocks which can uh, be or should be there to and have a safe operation this must be maintained as per the reliability availability maintainability rbi and rcm plot plan every people who are in the environment or who is working or who is in the plant must know the plant must know the layout must know the plot plan so that he or she knows what are the different hazards at which location which is a red area which is a amber area which is a yellow area which is a green area where what is a ppe zone so it has to be there well established plot plan should be there it has to be approved and this should be uh, updated on regular basis if in case of any change and we must know the respective design and standard codes for managing a successful process uh, safety management system by the technology of processes as we know the process flow diagram if i am operator or i am a maintenance guy or i am a supervisor if i do not know what is the process flow diagram probably i am not doing a right job to have a successful process safety management implementation i must have we must have and we should be knowing the process flow diagram process chemistry without knowing process chemistry how can you make process safety management system implementation successfully it's not possible we must know the process chemistry we must know the deviation of process chemistry we must know what are the i mean percentage of chemicals to be added or can be mixed what are the pros what are the cons maximum intended inventory guys this is very important there are some regulatory authorities are there they let us know that you cannot store any chemical As, as per the system more than the threshold quantity in india 
we have got peso or ccoe there is a limits of chemical or manufacturing storage of and import of hazardous chemical rule there are different threshold of different chemicals depending on the chemical property physical property of that chemical so we must know and we must store the chemical as per the maximum intended inventory it should never be more than that say for safety upper uh, and lower operating limits see what is this this is a design envelope for any process system the system equipment vessels uh, reaction should not go beyond the design limit either upper limit or lower limit and we must know the consequence of deviation because as we mentioned that process safety uh, in the definition and occupation personal safety in defi definition because a process safety is very very hazardous in nature this is this can create m a h so we must know what will go wrong and if it goes wrong what will be the consequence so that we can prepare ourselves accordingly guys uh, i hope uh, this information was useful for you and now it is your turn you have to answer guys what is the process safety information you know it right what why process safety information is essential in psi implementation i hope you know this and examples of different psi so guys if you have any doubt on these questions so please i mean uh, revisit the video revisit the training program or if you have any suggestion please feel free to put in the comment section so that i can come back to you asap vss and i hope these information was useful for you with this thank you very much jai hind jai bharat